the first two episodes of Disney Plus's Hawkeye have premiered and already introduced several characters, but who is the real villain in the series? This is Exasperated Nerd Explains. There are several things up in the air after just the first two episodes of the series. First, you have Kate Bishop's new stepdad, Jacques Duquesne, who is obviously interested in swords and was proven to be handier with a sword than he let on. He also had a sword on him the evening his uncle was murdered, as well as what was said to be a monogrammed butterscotch. Monogrammed butterscotch? Actually, I get it was a throwaway line, but that's not a monogram, just a personalized butterscotch. But I'm getting distracted here. He offers Kate a butterscotch that was obviously from the candy dish in his uncle's home. His handiness with swords would make sense given his character in the comics was known as the Swordsman. He actually taught Hawkeye how to fight with the sword when he was young, training him alongside Trickshot. His fatherly aura is somewhat diminished when he tries to kill Clint after being seen committing crimes. He acts as a villain for a while and even infiltrates the Avengers as a plant for the Mandarin, but eventually does become a hero and joins the Avengers for real. He later sacrifices himself to save the woman he loves. I think the obvious implications of him so far are going to be a red herring, that he won't actually be at fault or a villain in this series. I think it will be revealed near the end that he is being genuine in his care for Kate's mother and that the circumstantial evidence that connects him to the murder will be shown to be just coincidental. At the end of the second episode, we are shown a woman who appears to be the leader of the tracksuit mafia. She's deaf, as you can see the goon trying to mouth words to her after she's feeling the speakers for the vibrations. What exact role she has to play and whether or not she's actually the leader of the tracksuit mafia remains to be seen, but I was surprised by this introduction because this is Maya Lopez, who is a hero known as Echo in the comics. She is deaf and has the ability to copy movements or actions that she sees, hence the name Echo. In the comics, she is first introduced in Daredevil, falling in love with Matt Murdock while simultaneously trying to kill his heroic secret identity after being convinced that he murdered her father by the Kingpin. She realizes her mistake and then works alongside Daredevil. For a time, she works with the New Avengers and even dons the Ronin suit when working with them in Japan. Currently, she has control over the Phoenix Force, but that's a whole other story. I'm going to guess that she's just been misled or specifically after the watch the tracksuit mafia is after and that will tie into her backstory, either that or she's just a pawn of some kind. I assume she'll also wind up being misunderstood because she's obviously going to turn out to be a hero by the end because there is a pending Disney Plus series coming out about her that should probably give away her character arc. But who does that leave that could be the actual villain? Someone behind the scenes? Pizza Dog. No. I've seen some internet rumors that Vincent D'Onofrio will reprise his role as Kingpin in this series and that could even tie into Echo's comic book premiere in that way. So it would make sense for this to be his reintegration into the MCU since the Netflix shows are kind of non-canon at this point. They are also paying pretty good homages to the comic book characters and series with Pizza Dog already making an appearance, Clint and Kate first meeting as Hawkeye and Ronan even though the roles were reversed, and recreating a similar introduction to Maya Lopez as the comics did would make fans happy. Another thing that would echo the comics would be if the villain behind Duquesne's murder was Kate Bishop's mom. She runs a security company that can apparently just track anyone's phone when you put in their number. That level of privacy violation makes even the Dark Knight blush. She was being threatened by Duquesne the same evening he later wound up dead. She may have even been the one to give Jacques the monogrammed personalized butterscotch. This is not completely out of nowhere. As in the comics, Kate's mom actually passes away when she's young, and she later finds out that her father is involved with other criminals. So this would be a simple reversal. The comics have even implied that Kate Bishop's real mother is actually the villain, Madame Mask. It would also fit since the show seems to be thematically about superheroes trying to have families, with Clint trying to be a good dad and Kate trying to find herself outside of her mother's shadow. Plus. When the murdered Armand Duquesne III is so-called threatening Kate's mom, you can't hear it very well as it's purposefully muffled, but he says, I should have known this empire of yours was built on a lie, I know what I saw, and then says, I gave you an opportunity to explain. Seems like more he caught her doing something instead of the other way around. Perhaps she is even working with the Kingpin 
And that's what he meant when he said he had powerful friends too. It could turn out that I'm wrong and that Jox is also a villain and that would be a good combatant for Kate to fight near the end. But having her mom involved would up the emotional stakes instead of just fighting a new stepdad. I think the Kingpin is likely to show up to make it more important for Clint personally as well, because as the show tells us, The Ronin decimated the criminal underworld of this city, almost completely annihilating the status and power of the head of organized crime. I think it's implying here that Ronin may have created a power vacuum that let the Kingpin rise to power. But that's just my theory after two episodes. What do you think? Do you think Jox will be evil? Or will Echo start out as actually evil and then redeem herself by the end? Will the Kingpin show up? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye.